Hi everyone, it's Dr. Hall and we're going to do the axilla today. So this is the first time that we're being introduced to the brachial plexus. The brachial plexus is a network of nerves that is going to supply the upper extremity. So as usual, we're going to start with the most posterior or most deep structure, which today is called the posterior cord. So the posterior cord is receiving some nerve roots that are coming off of the cervical spinal cord, and it's going to travel out. So this is medial, this is lateral, this is the left side. It's going to travel out distally and branch into two nerves one of which is the axillary nerve right here, which is gonna head out into, you guessed it, the axilla. And the other is the radial nerve here, which is going to continue down into the lower, ex or excuse me, into the upper extremity. So our most posterior structure is the posterior cord. Directly anterior to it is our artery. So I'm just gonna kind of mush that on there so that you can see that. And so this artery, before it comes across the first rib, it's going to be the subclavian artery, and then it turns into the axillary artery. And so let's put on some branches of that axillary artery that we've already learned. So one of them is the thoracoacromial artery, which you might remember has the pectoral branch that goes out to supply the undersurface of the pec major muscle and travels along with the lateral pectoral nerve. I'm going to reflect that superiorly. You also probably remember the lateral thoracic artery here, which is going to run down the lateral border of the pec minor muscle and also send some branches out to supply the breast. We have a new artery that I'm going to add, which is more medial, called the superior thoracic artery. So the superior thoracic artery is way over here, and then the lateral thoracic artery is over here with the thoracoacromial artery in between. This section of the axillary artery is called the first part. This is called the second part. And then out here in the third part, we're going to have one of my favorite arteries, the subscapular artery, because it's nice and big. So I like that. It's easy to find. So this is going to come a little bit more like this. And just opposite to the subscapular artery, we're going to find two little teeny arteries called the anterior and posterior circumflex humeral arteries, which is a mouthful, but what they're gonna do is they're gonna travel out to the humerus and circle around. One of them's gonna go anteriorly and one's gonna go posteriorly, hence the name. Okay, so axillary artery, first part, second part, third part, superior thoracic artery, thoracoacromial artery, lateral thoracic artery, subscapular artery, anterior and posterior circumflex humeral arteries. And these are all anterior to the posterior cord, which is splitting into the radial nerve and the axillary nerve. Now we're gonna add the rest of the brachial plexus. So out here, lateral, it's kind of more superior in this region, but kind of lateral to the, um, excuse me, to the axillary artery, we're gonna find the lateral cord of the brachial plexus. And that is going to send off, it's going to also divide in two. One half is going to travel out into the upper extremity as the musculocutaneous nerve. Took me a minute there. And the musculocutaneous nerve is going to dive right into a muscle in the arm called the coracobrachialis. The other part is going to join up with a branch from our medial cord of the brachial plexus. So the medial cord of the brachial plexus is going to come this way and it also is going to bifurcate. So it's going to send one part here in the middle and combine with this part from the lateral cord. And the other part is going to continue out in the medial part of the arm as the ulnar nerve. 
So let's take a look at what's happening in, in this region here. We have two branches, one coming off the lateral cord, and we're gonna call that the lateral root, one coming off the medial cord called the medial root, and then they come together to form the median nerve. And so that median nerve is gonna travel out into the upper extremity. So let's review our brachial plexus. Our lateral cord branches out into the musculocutaneous nerve and the lateral root of the median nerve. Our medial cord branches into the medial root of the median nerve and the ulnar nerve. The only structure we have left now is the vein. So subclavian vein turns into the axillary vein and it is all anterior to the structures seen here. So I'm gonna remove that so we can review the anatomy one more time. Okay, so we have our lateral cord which branches into the musculocutaneous nerve and the lateral root of the median nerve. Medial cord branches into the medial root of the median nerve and the ulnar nerve, which is going to travel down the pinky side of the upper extremity. When we look at our artery, we have subclavian over here, first, second, and third parts of the uh, axillary artery, superior thoracic artery, thoracocromial artery with the pectoral branch, lateral thoracic artery, and under here we see the subscapular artery and the anterior and posterior circumflex humeral arteries. And deep to all of this, I'm gonna reflect it back. We have the posterior cord, which branches into the axillary, art, axillary nerve and the radial nerve, which is gonna travel out into the upper extremity. And that's it.